Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. I'm Shehabdul and today's video, we are going to learn how to enable XRDP on Ultramarine Linux running on Raspberry Pi. This will allow us to connect to our Raspberry Pi using remote desktop from a Windows machine. Let's get started. The first step to install XRDP on your Ultramarine Linux system, open a terminal and run following command to install XRDP. So we're going to type sudo dnf install XRDP. Um, this command not found. Oh, you know, I typed wrong. sudo dnf install XRDP and type your password I'm going to enter my password okay so this will install the XRDP package on your system I'm going asking your total size of inbound package is 2 MB need to download 2 MIB after this operation 14 uh, MIB will be used. Install 14 MIB, remove 0B. Is this okay? Yes, okay, sir. Type Y and it's installing. Verify package files, uh, running everything, blah blah. Arch 64. So, Ultra Man Linux, the interface a little bit different than the other Ubuntu Linux one and. Um, if you're familiar with the Raspberry Pi, normally you don't type uh, a DNF. So in here, uh, for this Ultramarine is Fedora based Linux, so you need to type DNF. It's like sudo DNF install XRDP. So make sure you, when you are uh, mistakenly, if you type some code uh, to the, the, the way you type in, um, Raspberry Pi or other Linux distro uh, This is going to be a little bit different. So make sure you type correctly Okay, it's uh, Done installing so you can see it took 1 minute 50 Seconds that's awesome. So everything looks perfect. I don't see any issues It's perfect and now Next, we need to start the XRDP service and enable it to run at boot. So, what we need to do here is we need to run sudo systemctl start XRDP. Uh, okay, I don't see anything, but it seems like it started. Let's see sudo systemctl enable X XRDP. Uh, let me type again. Did I mistakenly to do sys t a m c t l enable xrdp? Okay, I too fast. I type too fast. That's why I mistake. Okay, so everything looks good. Uh, the start is good and the enable also good. That's perfect. Okay, since uh, I type, uh, how about we check if it's running or not, right? So what we need to do is sudo system ctl status xrdp. Um, you can see it's running. I uh, don't see any red color stuff. If you see any red stuff, that means have issues, but seems like everything good. So it's running. I'm going to exit. Okay, next we'll check if it's enabled or not. Uh, we use sudo system ctl is enabled xrdp is enabled you can see we just ask if it's enabled it says enable my lord okay cool okay next we need to check if our firewall is enabled so because we need to allow rdp traffic now before we uh, allow that, we need to make sure our firewall is enabled or not. So what, how we're going to check that is, uh, we're going to type uh, sudo uh, systemctl 
status firewall D. And you can see our firewall is active. So what we need to do here is now we need to uh, allow our firewall, uh, our RDP traffic. So um, because we need to allow uh, port 3389, which is used by the RDP. So we type sudo firewall, firewall, cmd. I'm going to edit the uh, port is 3389 and that's TCP and I'm going to say permanent -E permanent success next I'm going to do here is reload the firewall sudo firewall cmd reload success now everything looks perfect so now i'm going to jump into windows 11 box and trying to see if i can rdp okay uh, i'm going to quickly see my ip address ipa uh, ipa okay uh, so 25 i'm going to open my remote desktop connection from my windows 11 box and uh, you can see 192 oops 192 168 86 25 this is the 25 ip address so i'm going to click connect okay we get the error message uh, actually it's a warning message the remote computer could not be authenticated due to the problems with its security certificate don't worry we're not to, to worry about the certificate we want our dp uh okay the following errors encountered blah 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 so everything looks perfect i mean i um, don't need to worry about this and perfect uh IT Samurai and the password I'm going to type and hit OK and should come up oops it didn't come up so what was the issue is uh, let me do it again uh, you know what I'm going to reboot the reboot this sudo reboot yeah because i want to make sure everything look perfect uh, before i troubleshoot the next step uh, you can see when i try to rdp it's black screen so probably i'm billy probably is running all the session uh, so i reboot so once you reboot let's jump in and see if we can do rdp again okay it's the my alma linux uh, is not Alma Linux, Ultra Marine Linux is back online. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up my RDP session and I'm going to try to connect and hopefully should be connect. And username is IT Samurai and the password to say okay hopefully it will come if not we have to troubleshoot again uh, yeah so it didn't come it's just a black screen so we have to troubleshoot it again okay guys there's a two more commands so you need to enter the the one I'm going to enter is echo uh, xfc ce for session and we will uh, explain you in a bit oops and x oops x clients so uh, the first command echo xfc session uh, x c clients configures the xrdp to use the xfce desktop environment by writing the necessary command to the x dot uh, xc clients file now the second one chmod i'm going to use the plus and x and this 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 x clients so 
the second command chmod ensure that this file is executable so that xrdp can run it and launch the xfce session when you uh, connect via rdp so that's all now let's jump into my windows 11 box and rdp to this uh, server actually not server it's actually alternative linux running on raspberry pi so let's rdp from my windows machine okay let me bring it back my uh, rdp session can see 25 is the one and i'm going to say connect uh, we can say flick no and say yes that's a certificate yes we don't need to worry about it samurai is the username and the password go to enter everything looks perfect hit ok um let's see see oh i see the mouse pointer that's a good sign okay jump into my uh ultramarine linux box running under raspberry pi so everything looks perfect i can do everything i want so i mean perfect so uh, that's how you enable rdp connection uh, to your uh, ultra marine linux box via the windows 11 box or whatever the box you want to rdp to the machine so we successfully install xrdp application and configure some firewall stuff and configure some of the uh, stuff with which we had trouble uh, had issues so everything looks perfect right so only the the certificate error is uh, pop up that's that's nothing to worry if you're in a production environment then you can create a certificate but in your home lab environment you don't need a certificate like that but if you want i'm going to create another uh, a video how to create a certificate so everything looks perfectly normal when you do rdp connection so thank you for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you on my next videos thank you see you soon